Okay, so let's talk about epistasis. So this is the genetic phenomenon that occurs when the phenotypic expression of one gene is going to be affected by another gene. So in this situation, we have three different code colors in Labrador retrievers. And we have genes B and E. And of course, we have other allele forms. So recessive allele, we're going to represent that with the symbol little b, and then recessive allele for E is going to be little e. So genes B are going to determine the actual pigment, the code color. However, there's another gene that is technically in charge whether or not that code color is going to show up as the genotype dictates. So this other gene is what we call a pigment deposition gene. So it's the actual E. So if we look at the simple genetics and we say simple uh, dominant type of inheritance pattern, we say black is dominant over brown. So if the dog is black, its genotype might be big B, big B, or big B, little b. If the dog is brown, chocolate, then the genotype is going to be little b, little b. However, here, we do not know because we could have anything because, as I said before, there's another gene that is going to influence the, the coat color. So what happens is when we cross two heterozygous dogs, and you, a heterozygous for both traits, for the pigment and the pigment deposition gene, you can see we do dihybrid cross here, and we follow the same rules as we did in Mendelian genetics. However, the way we interpret and phenotypes is going to be different because the E allele is going to have an epistatic effect on the B. So for example, if we have, we have big B, big B, big E, big E. So the dog has a genotype to be black, and it does have pigment depos deposition genes, so it means the dog is going to be black, and that's exactly what we see. Uh, here's another example here where we have a different scenario. We have big B, big B, so that means the dog is supposed to be black, but is it? No, it's not. It's actually yellow. Why? Because it's lacking the dominant pigment deposition gene. So therefore, regardless of what those alleles are going to be here for the coat color, the dog is going to be yellow. And then here's another example. We have brown. So little b, little b, that means the dog would be brown. And is the dog brown? Yes, it is, because it has at least one big E, which is that pigment deposition gene. So it means the dog is going to be brown. Um, this one, for example, little b, little b, little e, little e, that dog is supposed to be, what do you think? It's supposed to be brown, but it's yellow. Because there are two recessive alleles, uh, and they mean no pigment deposition at all, and therefore the hair is going to appear, appear yellow. So, so this is a simple example of how genes can influence other genes and affect and change their phenotype, meaning what we actually see um, in the physical appearance.